There is heavy tension right now as the Biafra Liberation Army has vowed to defend Biafra land with their lives and blood. This news highlights a mist of sentiment and updates surrounding the Biafra agitation, specifically the alleged involvement and activities of the Biafra Liberation Army and the commentary about Simon Ekba a prominent figure in the Biafra movement. The news talks about the purported readiness of the Biafra Liberation Army to defend their cause, pledging to restore the independence of Biafra even at the cost of their lives. They criticized the Nigerian government for alleged atrocities in the region. The news also addresses widespread rumors about Simon Ekpa's arrest and denies them. It argues that even if he was arrested, Finland as his host country would not extradite him to Nigeria. They review that those celebrating Simon Ekpa's supposed arrest are ignorant of what they are fighting for, attributing it to unfounded hatred and misinformation about the Biafra movement. They criticized the Nigerian government's alleged sponsorship of violence and the perceived injustice towards the Biafra movement. The news suggests a disparity in how Boko Haram and Fulani bandits in Nigeria are treated compared to pro Biafran agitators. The Nigerian government has soft on Boko Haram and Fulani bandits, but very hard on pro Biafran agitators. The news emphasizes the need for unity and courage among Biafrans, urging people not to swear by rumors of fear. There is a claim that the restoration of Biafra has been divinely set for 2nd December 2024, urging supporters to stay resolute. They also criticized the general animosity towards the Igbo people in Nigeria highlighting their contributions to local economies and infrastructure and condemning the celebration of their misfortunes. The news reflects ongoing tensions between the Nigerian state and the separatist movement, like the one advocating for Biafra. It underlines the role of social media in spreading both support and misinformation regarding such movements. Simon Ekba continues to be a polarizing figure, receiving both strong support and also strong opposition. Imagine waking up in a land where fear and hope live side by side. That is the reality in Biafra right now. For decades, 
The idea of Biafra, a separate state for the Igbo people and other groups in southeastern Nigeria, has been both a dream and a cause of conflict. Today, that dream feels closer for some, but the journey to get there is stirring tension that seems to grow heavier by the day. The latest twist in this story comes from the Biafra Liberation Army BLA. They have boldly declared their readiness to defend their land with their lives and blood. This isn't just a statement for them, it is a commitment. It is personal. These fighters say they have had enough of what they see as oppression and injustice from the Nigerian government and they are willing to do whatever it takes to restore Biafra's independence. But where does all of this leave the people in the region? How did we get here? And perhaps, more importantly, what lies ahead? Let's take a step back for a moment. The struggle for Biafra didn't start yesterday. It goes back to the late 1960s during the Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War. That war was brutal, leaving millions dead, many from starvation. Though the war officially ended in 1970, the wounds it left behind never truly healed. Since then, the Biafra movement has continued in various forms. What started as a military conflict has turned into a broader fight for self-determination. Groups like the Indigenous People of Biafra IPOB, and more recently, the Biafra Liberation Army have kept the dream alive. They argue that the Igbo people and other southeastern groups have been marginalized politically, economically, and even socially within Nigeria. And they are not entirely wrong. Many in the region feel that they have been left out of Nigeria's development and decision making. They point to poor infrastructure, lack of government investment, and what they see as unfair treatment compared to other parts of the country. These frustrations fuel the fire that keeps the Biafra movement alive. Now, enter the Biafra Liberation Army. These aren't just political activists, they are fighters and they mean business. In their latest announcement, they declare their readiness to defend Biafra land with their blood. It is a powerful statement, isn't it? But it is also one that raises a lot of questions. Who are they really? What do they want? And most importantly, how far are they willing to go? The Biafra Liberation Army has made it clear that they see themselves as defenders of their people. They have accused the Nigerian government of committing atrocities in the southeastern region from extrajudicial killings to other forms of oppressions. In their eyes, the Nigerian government isn't just an opponent, it is an enemy. To them, defending Biafra isn't just about politics. It is about survival, about protecting their communities from what they see as systemic violence. They have drawn a line in the sand and they are daring anyone to cross it. Amid all this tension, there is one name that keeps coming up, Simon Ekba. Depending on who you ask, Simon Ekba is either a hero nor a villain. He is a prominent figure in the Biafra movement. And a strong supporter of IPOB. He's also someone who doesn't shy away from controversy. Recently, rumors spread that Simon Ekba has been arrested. Social media exploded with the news. Some people celebrated, thinking this meant the end of his influence. Others were outraged, seeing it as another attempt to silence a Biafran voice. But as it turned out, the rumors weren't true. Simon Ekpa was never arrested. Even if he had been, his supporters argued that he wouldn't have been extradited to Nigeria. 
Why? Because Simon Ekpa is a Finnish citizen and Finland has no reason to hand him over to a country where he might not get a fair try. This raises an important point about how international law protects people in situations like this, especially when they are in countries with strong legal system. Still, the rumors about Simon Ekpa's arrest reveal something deeper, a divide in how people see the Biafra movement. Why some support it wholeheartedly, others, both within and outside the region, view it with skepticism or outright hostility. One of the Biafra Liberation Army's main criticism of the Nigerian government is what they see as a double standard in how it deals with different groups. They argue that why the government is quick to crack down on pro Biafran activists, it takes a much softer approach to groups like Boko Haram and Fulani bandits. Think about that for a moment. Boko Haram has been responsible for countless acts of violence from bombings to kidnappings. The Fulani bandits have terrorized communities across the country, yet the Biafra Liberation Army claims these groups are often treated with kid gloves compared to the Biafran agitators. This perceived injustice fuels a lot of the anger in the region. It is not just about Biafra, it is about fairness, about feelings like their lives and struggles matter just as much as anyone else. You know, it is hard to talk about any modern movement without mentioning social media. It is a double-edged sword, isn't it? On one hand, platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter have given Biafran activists a way to spread their message far and wide. Videos of Biafra Liberation Army fighters, species from Simon Ekba, and updates on the situation in the region reach thousands, even millions of people. But social media also spreads misinformation. Take the rumors about Simon Ekba's arrest. For example, within hours, the story was everywhere. People were celebrating or mourning without even knowing if it was true or not. This kind of instant reaction can be dangerous, especially in a situation as tense as this one. Despite all the challenges, one thing is clear. The spirit of Biafra is alive and well. For many people in the region, the idea of Biafra represents hope. It is a chance for a fresh start, a future where they can govern themselves and make decisions that benefit their communities. This hope is what keeps people going even in the face of setbacks. It is what drives the Biafra Liberation Army fighters to risk their lives and what inspires people like Simon Ekba to keep speaking out even when it is dangerous. So what is next? That is the big question, isn't it? The Biafra Liberation Army has set December 2nd, 2024 as the date for Biafra's restoration. Whether that happens or not, remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, the road ahead won't be easy. The Nigerian government isn't likely to give up control of the Southeast without a fight, and the international community has largely stayed neutral on the issue. At the same time, divisions within the Biafra movement itself could pose a challenge. Not everyone agrees on the best way forward and those disagreements could weaken the movement. Still, the Biafra Liberation Army and its supporters remain hopeful. They believe that this is the time that the sacrifices they are making now will lead to a better future. And for many people in Biafra, that hope is enough to keep them going. In times like this, unity is more important than ever. Whether you are a supporter of Biafra or not, it is hard to deny that the region deserves better, better infrastructure, better opportunity, and most importantly, 
a chance to live without fear. As the tensions continue to rise, it is worth remembering that behind the politics and the fighting are real people, families, children, communities who just want to live in peace. Maybe that is the real lesson here. Whether or not Biafra becomes an independent state, the ultimate goal should be justice and fairness for everyone. And that is something worth fighting for. According to the tweet by Biafra Liberation Army Squad, breaking, Biafra Defense Forces vowed to restore the independent state of Biafra with their last drop of blood and they said nothing Nigerian terrorist government could do about it. Enough is enough for all their atrocities against the Biafra people. Men mount, stay strong. The Biafra Liberation Army stated on their official S handle. Another tweet from Total Liberation State. This two days PM at Samonekba is not online. Every terrorist have come out to be making a lot of noise. No worry, we go know who be Nwaba soon. You go no say Nwaba get doings, no be chais. Owe one for South East Oguru, Owe on your kidnap, Owe on your property, Owe on your other promunia, Owe on your good more, Owe on our munia. But now, Nimoya, O my munia in nine nine, Julie Nimoya, O Mazayada go out. Owe in the Naganozo. Simon, Epa, you must pay for the blood. Oh, what are you? I'm warning you. Don't allow these people, any of them, Batara Nambara. We are security. We are a peaceful state. We don't need your help. We don't need your help in Anambra State. Anambra State is a peaceful state. That is the only state that is Christmas in Elfama, in the Southeast. I was not wicked. Stop killing people. Stop killing people if you are talking of Biafra. Anaro Yaro. You could low down. Not by killing your brothers. Your sisters, your friends, and our mothers and our fathers, our children. That's not the way of achieving the freedom. No, we say no to that. Please, someone help her. Repent now before it's too late. So, so, so. Repent now before it's too late. So, go stop killing our people. I want you. Their blood is upon your head. Our men don't want any more here. It's an honor to be Afra. Ndeni la ora on Simon e baka njo age. E go le kinye dia family. So, what question? That paper he je da for Ndeni la na una the struggle. E go le kinye dia family. That paper wa. E mo kwa Ndeni la na e gusi bo di mado, mo ndi mado, mo mado, ani na mado. E ko pata we ani mo ya. E mo kwa ni na bi ni mo ya wa no ya. So, o ta ke si zo dia fra na mo. Anambra states. Bunde bidro di Biafra, not this way. Give one one about it is in Kenya or there. It was in the middle. Africa, I have got to be good. It was on you to kneel on an Anambra state. Let come one in a gallery. Give her no mercy. You have killed all all their all their husbands and their wives. Biafra National Anthem.
to you. What do you do now? What? Everybody, everywhere. Someone else is arrested. Someone else yeah, yeah. Someone else arrested. Someone else arrested. The way some of you are even jubilating. Everybody has become a newscaster. He's arrested. He's arrested. Some are jumping, dancing, jumping. As if they've won a jackpot. As if by the arrest, supposedly arrest, their problem will be solved. As if it will bring the, the price of goods at the market down. As if it can pay their children's school fees. We are jubilating as if something good is happening. Or something good has happened. Why is it that any time there is a negative news about an evil person, you are so excited, so excited. Why the hatred for Igbo people? Why? We are celebrating. Yes, I'm not but I'm celebrating. The, the, as if, if it were Fulani Hess men that were arrested, fine. If it were Boko Haram, fine. But to an innocent man who has done nothing to you, his only crime is let my people stay at home on Mondays. Only crime. He has not fired anybody. And you are celebrating. He's been arrested. Though I made a video yesterday telling you, of course, that's a fat fake news. Big fat fake news. It cannot be. Even if he's arrested, can I shock you? That will be in Finland. That, is, that will be their business. He's a citizen of Finland. Anybody can be arrested. You know, business can go wrong. Work can bring problem. You can be arrested. But not on this ground they are mentioning. No. It's not the first time he's arrested. It's not the second time. He can be arrested. But one, two, three. At most three days, he will come back. He's always been like that. But he's not arrested anyway. But even if he is, he can never be up to Nigeria. Yes, he's a citizen of Finland. As much as Nigerian government wants him, he cannot come. Finland government will not release their citizen to Nigeria for any reason. Even the sit at home self is in the eastern region of Nigeria. East. It's not extended to west and north. So what is, what is the excitement for? What has he done wrong to you people? What are his crimes to you? Nothing. But you just love bad news about Igbo people. If you hear that shop, uh, that plaza is bought, hey, you are celebrating. Because that plaza is owned by the indie boss. They will come to your land and develop your land, and that's a crime. Develop, build hospitals for you, build schools for you. Something you couldn't do for yourself, is that a crime? You, you see them as... as, as as people that will soon take over your land. They, they are not interested in your land. You understand? They are only businessmen who will develop so that you'll be happy while they do their business. So what has Simon Ekman done? Why? Hatred. Innocent man. Hatred. Because he's fighting for the freedom of his people. Hatred. Please. Let's not, let's, let's not be celebrating things that are not worth celebrating. Anyway, I love the way the man is diplomatic about his things. The man is very, very smart. Simon is very, very smart. All this noise will soon fizzle out. And you will see the real Simon. He will come and make a broadcast. If you claim they are arresting, where is the video? I be camera no day Finland. Camera no day. Camera no day. A whole arrest of this mad meeting. No camera. Only hearsay. Hearsay.
ارجو الله كايرا الله كايرا So what I'm trying to say, I urge all Biafrans all over the world who got visa to travel to Finland for convention or restoration of Biafra. Please, do not be afraid. Nothing is happening. Start traveling. Move all of you. When you hear my voice, I give you, I give you the encouragement. I give you. Do, your heart should not be uh, die or your faith become uh, your your faith becoming going going down. Nothing is happening. The people who who question him, Prime Minister Salman, but is his own people. It, one is his own political party. To his president, so I don't see reason why you be afraid, because one that uh, Prime Minister Samoan Epa did not as um, did not incent incent violence in Nigeria. He never has any war in in Lagos, Kano, Kaduna, Abuja, or the part of Nigeria. He only defending the Biafra land. He never call anybody name in outside Biafra land. So do not be afraid. Prepare and start traveling. It's a must. God have signed it that we will restore Biafra 2nd December 2024. Do not be afraid. If you are not a coward, do not be afraid. Start traveling now. Prime Minister Samuel Epa. If Prime Minister is not around, Her Excellency Ngozi Arabeze is, is in, in charge now. The African Liberation Army are ready. Everybody are ready. So you must be ready. Travel. I'm coming. You will see me face to face. God bless you. Bye. If he commit any crime, the government of Nigeria will have to prove it. They're not going to just take him and put him in a plane and start flying him to Nigeria. That is not going to happen. I can guarantee you that is never going to happen. Did we not know in the case of Nam the Kano? Nam the Kano was doing his own thing. The British government never shipped him to Nigeria. He went to Kenya on his own and unfortunately they picked him up from there. But for the British government could have they, would they have done that? No. If 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 um if Simon Ekpa is silly enough to travel to Nigeria, they will take him or travel to any African country or any lawless country in Africa. They will pick him up from there. But as long as he remain in Finland, there's nothing that will happen to him. You might lock him up for three days, couple of days. This is not the first time he's been arrested anyway. He's been arrested before and he was released. So Nigerian government need to prove that this guy is an active participant in what they are accusing him of doing. And there's no, Nigerian state is not even coming out to say they are behind it anyway. So Simon Epa could have done something else in Finland. So please stop celebrating nonsense because there's nothing that will bring him to Nigeria. This is why when I see people on social media saying things that they don't understand, I always laugh. You think 
you think the western country are like the lawless of africa whereby you can just pick another citizen somewhere put him on the plane and fly him over it is impossible it's the court it's international law this guy will not be deported to nigeria will not be shipped back to nigeria to come and face injustice that have no justice if you don't understand nobody respect nigeria that will have a justice system we don't have any judiciary system we don't have a justice system in the country so it is impossible for any country to release their citizen for you because you accuse them of whichever crime he based in finland okay if there's any atrocity that is committed there then you can present your case but i don't even think finland will release him to nigeria they're not going to do that so um we should stop celebrating nonsense for me i am personally not a fan of simon Epa. i'm not a fan of him i think he's completely this is the end of our news updates please click the icon on the top right corner of your screen to watch my next video you will enjoy it I will see you again in my next update. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.